What is blocking me from tapping into that or living that type of life? Nothing. And I went for it. Why? Because you're going to die. You know, if you read some biographies, there was one that completely changed my life. It was a Jim Morrison biography. I read this when I moved to LA. I quit university, moved to LA. It's like almost 10 years ago now. And I would read it. And I was fascinated with people who had charisma. And for me, he was one that had like, the, he was my idol of charisma. You know, I loved the original, again, the actual Jim Morrison, but then I also liked the movie remake. People hate, the, the actual Doors fan hate the movie remake. They're like, it's exaggerated. Val it's, yeah, Val Kilmer, oh, they hate it. I loved it, and I loved the portrayal because there's that same charisma. And I would read the book, and I'd read the main biography, I'd read the ones that the drummer would write, any little bit of information I got. And I'm like, you know what? Why can't that be me? What is blocking me from tapping into that or living that type of life? Nothing. And I went for it. Why? Because you're going to die. You know, we play it so safe. It's like, yo, life's going to fly by, you're going to die. You don't have to play it so safe. Even if you mess up, eh, you'll be dead soon enough. So why not try? Why not go all out? Why not live your life so when you look back at some crazy movie? You can all do it. Why don't you? You know? Here's another perspective to sink into since we're <laughs> diving into death. Think of life as some crazy video game. You know, say I had like a new GTA minus the killing and, sh and stuff, you know? Here's GTA 10. It will come out in 50 years. I lend it to you. I'm like, you have seven days to play the game, then I want it back. That is life. Imagine this experience alive. It's like you're born, it's like, here's your body. You're like, okay, uh, you've got a certain amount of time, but then I want the body back. How are you gonna live your life so that when you give the game back, or say there's an afterlife and you're in the afterlife and someone asks you like, hey, so what did you do with life? You're like, well, I played it pretty safe. I, you know, I got my boring job and my boring commute and my boring breakfast, but it was a safe life and here I am. That's like saying, I get the game back. I'm like, hey, so did you have fun with the game? You're like, well, no. I mean, I, I walked around this one block in, in GTA 10 and it was very safe. And I did, I was like, okay. And, but, but I did make a lot of money. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, I did the taxi cab missions. Um, I, it wasn't very passionate, but I sure started collecting that money. And uh, now the game's done. That's what we do. No, if you had that game in like seven days, you'd go explore, right? You'd see like, what is this game? What are all the different areas of the map of this game? Let's go all out. You might try the taxi cab for a day, and if it's not for you, it's like, well, that's not for me. Let's try this other thing. Treat life that way. How are you gonna answer that question? When it ends, someone asks you, so what did you do with the game? Are you gonna be the taxi cab person? Are you gonna be the person who just like, doesn't even touch the controller, just stands there the whole time like, well, I didn't really play at all. Or are you going to milk it? Are you gonna be like, man, I tried everything in that game. Everything. Who are you gonna be? Because that day will come. I mean, who, who knows if someone will ask you after. <laughs> who knows if there's an afterlife. Someone's like, so, the game that is life? But yeah, jump in and mess around. You can't really mess up. It just adds to the journey, the story. And guess what? The journey and the story and even the mess ups add to the charisma you have. Because now you have some crazy stories to share. Most people are boring and run out of things to say because they haven't lived. They've just existed. I'm banned, yeah. I'm banned from a continent. He is. <laughs> how, many people, how many people can say that? Say, are, you, are you banned too, Greg? No. no. <laughs> Maybe after this video you'll be banned. <laughs> now, the goal is not to be banned. No, no. Greg has proved this. You can have charisma without being banned. Because I might also be banned. <laughs> We're not sure. We're not sure. We haven't tried to go back. But it's true. But if you think about it, like even awkward situations in your life make for great stories. Even failures in your life. You take a risk and say you fail. You're like, oh, you know, I lost all that money and I failed. There's an amazing story to share. You just have to be willing to put yourself in those situations.